The topic that we're going to talk today is selective IgA deficiency. What is selective IgA deficiency? It is defined as primary immunodeficiency characterized by undetectable level of IgA in the blood and secretions, but no other immunoglobulin deficiencies. You're going to have normal levels of IgG, IgM, and other immunoglobulins, but your IgA levels will be low or undetectable. And it's the most common immunodeficiency, by the way, it can cause false positive pregnancy tests. And IgA can be present in blood, but most of the IgA in the body is in the secretions of the mucosal surfaces, including tears, saliva, colostrum, genital, respiratory, and gastrointestinal secretions. And because of that, if you are deficient with IgA, you're going to have recurrent infections in your respiratory tract, gastrointestinal tract, and other than that, you're going to have recurrent Giardia infections, and we're going to touch on that in a minute. These infections are generally mild and would not usually lead to an in-depth workup except when unusually frequent. An IgA deficiency is associated with the allergic triad. What is allergic triad? First, you're going to have rhinitis and then atopic eczema, allergic asthma. So we talked about that, but patients with IgA deficiency often present with Giardia infections. Giardia is a parasite. And why you're getting this infection? Because IgA from Peyer's patches protects from intestinal infections such as Giardia. Anaphylaxis to blood products is a feared complication of selective IgA deficiency because when you get transfusions, you're going to react those IgAs and patients may be completely asymptomatic until they require transfusion. And let's talk about autoimmune complications. Autoimmune diseases uh, in which your immune system attacks a particular organs or tissues in your own body can be found with selective IgA deficiency. And the common autoimmune conditions found with IgA deficiency include rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, celiac disease, or inflammatory bowel disease. Lastly, let's talk about prognosis. Prognosis is excellent, although there is an association with autoimmune disease. But in selective IgA deficiency, uh, this disorder can complicate the diagnosis of one such condition called celiac disease because the deficiency masks the high levels of certain IgA antibodies usually seen in celiac disease. And that could be causing harder diagnosis. So that's it for today. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video.